Hey YouTube, it's Tenodoro here from Android Invasion with an unboxing for you of a case I got from my Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. Ordered on Amazon yesterday, came today. Expedited shipping, which is something I actually love. It is for the Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. This is the uh, pre uh, sequel to the Galaxy Tab uh, from Samsung. Comes with Android Honeycomb pretty good tablet so let's just quickly take this apart okay now besides the documenting papers aside this is actually um, a pretty cheap um, packaging it's there's no advertisements anywhere except there where it says uh, Moco bookcase for 7.0 plus black, which is pretty much the only mark anything you're gonna see on the packaging. It's pretty cheap, I believe. But uh, let's just go ahead and rip this apart. Ooh. Cost about 30 bucks on Amazon normally. Then I got this for the shipping, which was like 10 bucks more. So this is like a, a nylon feel on the outside. It's soft. Uh, I'm the only thing I'm afraid of right now is just actually ripping at some point. But this is a bookcase. It's very thin, and as one guy on the XDA forums actually says, probably the thinnest case you on, on, on Amazon. I'm sorry, gave a review and said it's actually the thinnest case you will find online. Uh, oh, it's pretty pretty soft. There's like a cloth-like material on the inside, so it's not going to scratch the back of your tablet. And it's uh, this is magnetic over here, I believe. So it's just closes, you know, snugly. It only fits a snap on, by the way. So your tablet snaps on. So let's just quickly install this. Let's make sure the camera reports and everything align correctly. And there you go. The case is in, it's in the case now. It's a very, very thin case. Um, I guess I can compare this to one thing I have on me here is a Nintendo 3DS. And 3DS on its own is kind of slim, so you can see the size comparison there. Anything else I have? I don't know, I have an HTC Incredible. So you see the difference between the Incredible and the, uh, the, the actual case. Which you see is not too much of a difference. And the Incredible is kind of thin to begin with. Uh, let's see the different I believe that you're able to put this in different uh, viewing angles So here is the tilted viewing angle. It's not exactly flat on the ground. It's a little tilted uh, How else can you put this? Ah, there's a flap there. So you put it this way and uh, I believe it's like this. There's a ridge on the back of it that you can connect this to. And ah, there's a tilted viewing angle. So it's not bad, it's actually pretty sturdy. So I, I don't think, I don't have any fear of it falling off. Um, I wonder if it can go on the A mode. Let's, hmm. That one looks like it's gonna have a little difficulty doing. Especially considering I'm doing it with one hand. I'm a little concerned that the flap here might wear out because it snaps on pretty tightly to close it. But by continuously doing something like this, oh yeah, this is definitely not going to stay on on a viewing mode. No, no way. I mean, you could probably leave it like this, but it's tilted like that. Maybe I guess if you're watching a movie and you're sitting, you know, directly in front of it. But if you're a little above head, you're not gonna. That's not gonna be too good that way. But uh, going and putting it in this format is not that bad. It's actually pretty pretty good. I believe it, it should stay like that. Hmm. Yeah, I was doing some some reading on Thomas Paine and common sense. You guys know. But yeah, that's pretty much how the tablet's gonna look, and uh, that viewing angle. Uh, something a little weird is that it turns, well, it closes. The book is from, the, the case is from right to left. I'm not exactly sure why it's like that, though. 
well since books open this way left or right hmm doesn't concern me too much maybe it's a Japanese made product because that's how they read books in Japan but yeah that's pretty much it. it's a very slim case I mean if you drop this it's probably not gonna protect well if you drop it like this straight down you're you might be okay but if you drop it at an angle I'm not sure how well this will protect your case as compared to let me see I think I have some other cases around here that I ordered. Oh, yeah this is the keyboard case that I ordered Bluetooth keyboard case with the stand if you were to drop this because it slides in here it has more protection and also I have oof, let me get it out of here I also have the poetic case Now, I used to use the Poetic case, but the Poetic case, as you can see, is too big. It is very thick to put in a bag. Although it does have excellent viewing angles, I'll give you that much. You see, it's excellent viewing angles, and it's also detachable. So if you want to just protect the case, you can just keep it in here. But um, this became too big for me. So I'm going to stick with this case for now. The Moco uh, Thin Book Case. It's on Amazon. It's on sale. They also have a different variant if you look online. You know, it's pretty it's pretty reminiscent to the Any Mode case, I believe. But, yeah, anyway, that's it. It's my review on the little case in comparison to other cases. And for some reason, the 3DS that I had available. You can see size comparisons there between the Bluetooth case, the book case, and the Poetic uh, case. Alright, well, that's it, guys. Till next time, take care.